hobbyist when I have the steering wheel of my Jeep, my yellow Jeep, uh, between my two hands. Uh, usually there's dogs in the back, but not right now. And uh, just cruising down the road. So I've had a lovely day of hiking and a lovely day of riding and a lovely day of uh, getting uh, more ideas of what content to put in my new book from uh, self-hate to self-love. And the stories out there are, are simply amazing. And I realized that a lot of the stories that I was looking for was for the transformation from self-hate to self-love. And are there women out there, are there people out there who genuinely love their bodies? And so I was thinking back to a class I had taught, oh my goodness, I'm not even sure how many years ago, um, maybe like around 2010, 2011, somewhere in that time range. And anyway, so I was uh, instructing a bunch of women and we were talking about, we were talking about bodies. It was the art of living uh, beautifully, the art of body beautiful, I think is the name, was the name of the class. And anyway, so I tasked them to come back the following week with uh, something positive, something loving, something gracious, gratitude wise to say about their bodies. And uh, so uh, if you heard the story of Janine, that's a, that's a different body, body sharing exercise. However, it was just like the story with Janine where at first it was very tentative with the people that were appreciating their bodies. They were like, oh, you know, I like my smile, I like my hair, I love my eyes, I like the color of my hair, you know, just, just nice things. And then there came a time when uh, Jenny jumped up. And Jenny weighed mm, probably just this side of uh, maybe 250, 300 pounds somewhere around there and Jenny jumped up with the biggest, most beautiful, most engaging smile ever on her face. She jumped up in her, I messed up light, her arms went wide and she's like, I love my boobs. And it's like, and, and it was so infectious that everyone laughed. Did you laugh when I just said that? Did, maybe I didn't quite get it the way she did. I think I did. Um, I love my boobs. And everybody just left because we got it. We got it that loving our bodies, you know, loving our bodies is loving ourselves and loving ourselves is living our life. And living our life is, you know, whatever, whatever crazy zaniness we have going on, whatever story of guilt or shame or um, abuse that we've had in our past, we get to decide the life that we live, all those things that happen to us, they, do, they don't count, they don't matter, they're, not, they're in the past, and we let them go, and she jumped up and said, I love my boobs, and she was right there, in the minute, full of gratitude, full of love, full of gratefulness for her body, and a part of her body, and so after that, other people would jump up and go, I love my legs, I love my belly, I love my smile, and you know, it was so engaging. And then we came to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman who, I kid you not, if you looked in the dictionary next and for beauty, her picture would have been there. She was that gorgeous. And uh, she stood up. And she stood up. It was a, you could, you could easily tell by the way that she stood up that she wasn't comfortable. So she stood up and... She was kind of just fidgety a little bit in her body and her head was down and she was looking down and she decided that she could like her feet. Not love her feet. She decided that she could like her feet because her feet took her wherever she wanted and needed to go. It's like, okay. So let's bring it back to the gratitude for one's body because you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you think you look like. It doesn't matter what you think you look like. It doesn't matter the gifts and talents that you think you have or that you don't have, that you think you don't. None of that matters. Everything is in the moment with gratitude. So right now I am driving in my Jeep, my yellow Jeep. I've got on my favorite sunglasses. It's a nice day. It's, I think it's in the seventies. Yeah. 78 is what my car temp says. It's just beautiful. There's trees all around. There's not really very much traffic. I'm on my way home where I get to see my dogs and my hubby and I've had a great day of 
writing. And so I've got a lot of great ideas on the book. And I need some more stories from you guys. If you guys want to have a story of yours in my book, I would love it. Because it's all about from self-hate to self-love. And the art of self-love is the art for being oh so grateful for every freaking thing in our life. From one strand of hair to uh, a favorite chair that you sit in. Um, do you have a favorite candle that you like to burn? Incense. Is there a color? What does your favorite spot look like? Do you have rocks? Do you collect pyramids? What do you collect? Do you do calligraphy? Do you do stamping it? What do you do? What are so you so grateful for? And what are those talents that you have that maybe you weren't giving yourself credit for because a lot of people do it. Maybe you don't really think it's artistic. Maybe uh, it comes so easy to you that you don't realize it. Did you know that the things that come easiest to you are your greatest gifts, are your greatest strengths, and the things that you can make the most money at? How does it get any better than that? How does it get any better than that? I am really grateful that yesterday I bought an easel. There was another artist selling an easel, and the easel was less than 100 bucks, and it's a really good easel. It's really solid and really sturdy, and I can paint to my heart's content on that. I'm really grateful that my car works, that it takes me wherever I want to go. I'm really grateful for dresses. I'm really grateful for a 78 degree day here in September. I'm really grateful for all the trees that surround me on this drive. I'm really grateful that the station I usually listen to on my radio has a lot of classic rock. And so I listen to those bands that I was too into pop when I was young. So like Rush and ACDC and Foreigner and uh, Def Leppard. I did listen to Def Leppard when I was a teenager. And I'm so grateful that you guys are out there. I am so grateful for people that are out there doing their stuff, sharing their talents, their gifts with the world. I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful that I can easily do this without endangering myself or my car, hands-free. And I'm just so grateful for life. Today I'm grateful for life. We have my husband and I, between the two of us, we have four kids. Uh, they're grown up. There's two grandkids. The oldest grandkid is starting uh, preschool. Uh, she started preschool, I think, on um, Thursday, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. And it's and I'm just so grateful for these in inquisitive minds. I'm so grateful for uh, plants and flowers. I'm so grateful for color and paints crayons and markers and glitter. Have you ever played with glitter as an adult like you played with glitter as a child? I'm so grateful for glue sticks. So grateful for glue sticks and nurseries and plants and flowers and kittens and puppies and dogs and kids and mothers and fathers and grandpas and grandmas and just, I'm just grateful for it all today. In this moment, there is just so much peace and love in my heart and I am so grateful for this moment and knowing that in 10 seconds everything could shift and in 10 seconds I can shift everything back again because not only am I that powerful, you my dear friends are that powerful. And so how does it get any better than that? So if you like this, please give me hearts and likes. Uh, give me some give me some suggestions, stories. What's your story? I am curious about you. What makes you the magnificent being? Yes, I said the magnificent being that you really are. Because you know what? It's, it's done with telling life the way you thought it was. The way other people taught us that life was or told us that life was. Screw that. That's not what life was. Life is what we make of it. Life is what I make of it. And you know what? There's a hurricane a coming down in Florida. And if you've been reading your Facebook feeds, if your Facebook feeds is anything like mine, there's a lot of encouraging words. There's a lot of people helping people. There's a lot of people shouting out, hey, we're safe. We've buttoned down the hatches. We are prepared. We are gathered together uh, as a family, with friends, whatever it is, and we are doing just fine. And so here I'm pulling up into my driveway right now, 
and oh there's the puppy right there waiting to greet me to say hello I'm so glad you're home and then there are these just beautiful trees that grow in my yard just these beautiful trees and so as I'm parking really quickly I'm just gonna show you around real quick at some other things that I am grateful for because you know life is pretty gosh darn fantastic and it's not only my life that's gosh darn fantastic, it's every life is gosh darn fantastic. And even the stuff that sucks and it's crappy. See, this is the brand new easel that I just got. Can see it is pretty awesome and amazing. I'll create some beautiful pieces of art that might be for my eyes only, because that's kind of the way that it goes sometimes. And oh, there's my Libby. Libby, Libby, Libby. Come here. There she comes. Here she comes. So we'll see. To Libby really quickly. There she is. There she is behind the fence. We say hi to Libby because she's so happy. <gasps> Look at that happy dog. I am so grateful for happy dogs. Oh, there's another happy dog. Hirasuki. Hirasuki and Libby and Chester. And look at how happy they are. Look at how happy they are. Yes, they are so happy. As I come in here, cut in through the back. So what are you happy for today? What is making your heart sing? What is it in your life that is amazing? Because trust me, there's dogs playing. Trust me, there is something in your life that is just as amazing, just as beautiful as watching these three dogs go and play. Go Chester, go play, go play, go play Chester. So my beautiful friends, have yourself an absolutely fabulous day. Let me know what you're grateful for today. And this is Lisa, I will see you later. Bye bye.